Okay, here are some more random experiments with my $20 Walmart on box. I have swapped out the 128 gigabyte thumb drive for a wireless dongle for a keyboard and mouse. So I've added keyboard mouse capability to this little thing. I also downloaded uh, Firefox and I did that with like the standard method that people use using the downloader app and the APK mirror website. No need to elaborate. Uh, most people do that or they can Google it. Um, same method that people use commonly to install things like Kodi on Fire TV. Uh, I don't know enough about Android TV 12 if this is normal uh, behavior. But the Firefox icon seemed to be blocked, doesn't, didn't seem to go anywhere. I tried installing it twice, didn't help. Currently, the only way I can launch Firefox is settings apps and launching it that way. And I've done that through Firefox sometimes when it's being weird. It's not friendly. Um, I did figure out that the search tool, and I figured this out randomly after I installed Firefox, gave me the option of choosing Google or Firefox and I just selected Firefox and that's what it's doing now because it didn't this didn't include the Chrome browser the default Google option did nothing useful so I like Firefox better anyway so if we want to search for something and who knows I I'm not going to go into a lot of testing it would just be kind of nice to be able to look stuff up on any of my devices. Who knows? I might do some extensive testing on streaming video and stuff, but I don't know if that's that important. I'd just like to see if I could look stuff up. Not great performance, but... Huh. Huh. Well, whatever. It is a really weak, weak device. So, but there you go. I've added browsing capability. I was just curious. I'm trying to figure out whether it's worth buying a few more of these as potential gifts, uh, Christmas presents, not knowing if the DRM will be fixed. Um, my thought is these things are so small and I've got quite a few monitors and TVs, especially the TVs that like I was thinking about donating, but I could literally just make a quick bracket and stuff one of these on the back of the TV and make like a little all-in-one computer or a little smart TV as gifts. I, I know several people that are struggling that are just starting over. Um, this would be nice for them. Um, plus, when you donate stuff, I don't know if it's really ever going to be used or if it ends up going into the dump anyway. Uh, our disposable culture. So, uh, you know what? $20, it's not the greatest experience trying to use the browser on here, but it does work. Um, and this doesn't have to be someone's primary computer, but I do know somebody that would enjoy to have a little kitchen computer. Um, or if they want to watch YouTube or you know something else while they're in the kitchen. Uh, if DRM gets fixed, these things are going to be killer. Um, and that's another thing. When that happens and people buy them all up, um, that happened with the PlayStation Classics, too. They were really, really cheap early on. And then as soon as people figured out that, hey, you can hack it, they got, they got, they got more expensive than they were worth. But it was really cool early on to get a PlayStation Classic for like 20 bucks. It's like what I did. It's a heck of a deal. So there you go. Now you can add a keyboard and a mouse easily and add a browser. If anything else... If I discover anything else more useful on this, like why my stupid ass couldn't find the icon, or if I can get re-enable the Chrome capability, which would just be a little more integrated with the UI, I can follow up on that. But even like this, kind of hinky, that's a lot of capability for 20 bucks. I mean, what more do you want?